Hello. Thanks for joining me today. So the first thing I want to start with is I want to tell you about this class, a mini class I'm doing this month. It's called The Strong of Heart. It features this stamp set, Strong of Heart. If you purchase this stamp set using the August using the August host code, it's a $20 stamp set. I will send you the card kit. Let me move my today's project out of the way. Listen. To make these three cards, you'll get all three kits shipped to you at no cost. It's just um, this stamp set is uh, Stampin' Up's Make a Different stamp set. So if you purchase it using the host code, I will send you the card kits to make these three cards, the PDF and the video on how I put them together. And three dollars of your purchase of this stamp set Stampin' Up! is donating to Heart um, reach, Research. Sorry. So if you're interested in this, contact me. Um, we can, I can send you a link with um, my host, and, the, and I can send you the host code information and all that. But you have to, if you ha you have to until August 31st to order this stamp set using the host code, and I'll send you the three card kits, the PDF, and the video. Okay. So there's that. Okay, so today's projects are using the stamp set Whiskey Business, okay, and then we're also going to be using the In Good Taste Designer Series Paper, so I'm just showing you, the. I just wanted to show you all the paper. This pack is, the tw it's $21, you get a lot of paper and uh, lots of different patterns. And um, this was a carryover from last catalog, but it's so much fun to use. Makes great manly cards. So I needed some manly cards for my for sash. So we're gonna make these ones today. Oh, there we go. So we're gonna start off with this one. Let me put these two out of the way for a little bit. Okay. Sorry. I, um, bear with me for one second. There we go. Okay, so we're going to pull in. This is our Whisper White, our basic white, sorry, card base. It is, all the measurements for these projects will be on my blog to, um, are on my blog today. And, uh, you can find them over at www.stampwithroberta.blogspot.com. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is start with our basic white piece. And we're going to bring in our stamps and our ink. So we're using the Memento Black ink. And we're going to ink up our bottle and stamp it. And ink up our glass. Okay, and then I'm going to bring in, this label comes from the, or, um, it's either the ornate frames or the message die. I'm pretty sure it's the ornate frames. Um, okay, so there's that. Let's close the ink up. Bring in our light. Let's start. I'm going to bring in the light, Daffodil Delight, and we're just going to color the liquid. Quick and easy. Same thing on the bottle. Just color the liquid in the bottle. This card comes together. These all three of these cards come together really quick. Um, that's one thing I try to make sure is the cards that we're doing on um, Coffee and Card Tuesday is they're quick and cute cards, so they're easy to put together. Um, they don't take a whole lot of time. So if you wanted to mass produce any of these, it'd be really quick and easy to do. Okay, just like this. Then we're going to bring our dimensionals in. And... We're going to add... 
exactly this, just like that. And then we're gonna add this to the card front that we folded up. Ugh. Just like that. So that's that one. Next up is this one. This is just an extra piece I cut. I'd, like, I'd rather cut extra and have them. <laughs> have a little basket like thing that I got from the Dollar Tree and I will um, I ink it or I have it sit on my desk and I throw all my extra pieces so this one I stamp the greeting first at the top make sure I have plenty of room for everything else then we're gonna do our bottle so when I'm cutting, I always cut extra and just throw them in that little basket. Like I said, I bought them. They're like three for a dollar, dollar tree. And I just have one sitting on the side of my desk and I throw all of it in there. Okay. So this one, just grab the, I think this is the dark one, but it doesn't really matter. I think the last time I used this, I didn't put the lid on. All the way so that I'm going to need to replace my daffodil delight blends. Here it's weak. I don't think it's supposed to do that. Okay, so let's go with really espresso is the card front. Okay. Ooh. So when you watch this, leave me a comment and let me know, are you making your own Christmas cards this year? I'm going to do this fun thing in September, so keep an eye out for details coming. Um, it's a week-long event that I'm going to do, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so that's card two. And the last one is a, this one is a little bit more intricate. Not really, but it's not, it's just as easy. So we're gonna go. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the soft suede piece down on the card front like that. And then this is our designer series paper piece. Ugh, I screwed my bone folder. That's always fun. So just like that. Then we're going to come in with our black ink again. We're going to stamp our bottle. Okay. And then I need a piece of scrap white. Okay. We're just going to stamp the cup. And then this is the fun part. So this greeting says cheers to you. So what I'm going to do is just ink up the cheers. And then make sure there's no ink on anything else. You could cut it apart if you wanted. I did a chose to wipe off the tea. So I because I just wanted to say cheers. Okay. So let me call it this. Coloring is what, to, I mean, it's, I, I'm just doing quick and easy, but it does take a little bit of time if you have a lot of colors that you're coloring, but this is just the one color, I'm trying to make it quick and easy. Okay, so we're going to take this twine, comes from the Essentials Baker Twine Pack, and so just, just see that, we're just going to run it through here. Just like that and then grab my ribbon scissors and snip it perfect and we're just gonna add a seal to this and put it on our card front then I'm gonna bring in my paper snips and just fussy cut this glass out okay just like that 
and we'll come in with our dimensionals and we'll put two on this and then put two on our greeting. Okay, we're gonna come up on the side of this tag like that and then we're gonna put our shears. I'm gonna cover up that little oops I made. So there you go. I colored this one with markers trying to decide if I wanted to use markers or blends, but I just stuck with blends. So these are the three cards for today. The measurements are all on my blog. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a message. And don't forget, if you'd like to sign up for the, uh, if you'd like to order the Strong of Heart stamp set, let me know and we will, I'll get it taken care of. Thank you.